Watch you guys got another video Microsoft update warning as 1 billion Windows 10 users must act now according to Microsoft. Uh, the industry is saying it's a security risk and a looming security disaster as Windows 10 is still being chosen as the operating system of choice for a lot of people. In fact, 1 billion people that are using Windows 10 right today. Now, 500 million of those are of course unsupported hardware but 500 million of those are actually uh, eligible to upgrade to windows 11 and just not have taken up the offer to upgrade to windows 11 we'll talk about that after a quick word from today's video sponsor cd key sales if you're looking for cheap windows keys then check out the links in the video description they have plenty to offer over on cd key sales windows 10 windows 11 office uh, keys whatever it is you're looking for for your purchase then all you need to do is head over there and then click on the buy now button on your product of choice. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and get 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD key sales. Once you apply that to your order, you get a nice big juicy discount. And then when you submit your order, they will then send you your key. Head over to the activation center on Windows, click change, paste in your key, click activate and you've got a full version of Windows just like you see. Okay, so let's get back to the video. Now, Microsoft are pushing continuous update warnings and a billion Windows users may be at risk in the future, as you can see here. They have just pushed out their final update, but if we look at the stats here, there is a huge amount of people still using Windows 10, and it is up to 44% of users still using Windows 10 today at this late stage in the game by now the operating systems are normally in massive decline but it's actually going back up and this is because people simply don't want to use windows 11 because of all the telemetry the ai that's being injected into the operating system and they just don't like the way uh, windows 11 is going and many people are sticking with windows 10. now to put this into some sort of context they assume that over 550 million PCs are still running Windows 10 out of the 1.4 billion market total share of Windows. And that is an astonishing amount. Now, Jeffrey Clark at Dell is basically told about the earnings and what is basically happening. Now, Jeffrey Clark from Dell, who is the COO, basically has said that they have about 500 million of computers that are compatible of running Windows 11 have simply not upgraded to Windows 11 and they're staying on Windows 10. And this should be a wake up call for Microsoft because this can be a major security headache for Microsoft's Windows 11. Now, Microsoft will continue to issue nag screens and warnings to tell people to upgrade to Windows 11 if their PC is compatible. Now, we know there's a huge amount of computers that aren't compatible, but having 500 million plus computers that are compatible for Windows 11 and are still staying on Windows 10 surely sends a stern message to Microsoft to say, we are not happy with the direction where Microsoft and Windows 11 is going. And the real crunch time will come for Microsoft in October 16th, 2026, when the end of support for Windows 10 will come because mainstream support has ended. And on October 16th, 2026, that's when the extended support for Windows 10 will end. Now, there's also been a lot of talk about Linux. And of course, I'm not talking about just install Linux Brigade. I'm talking about real facts. And Zorin OS has said that they have seen over a million downloads in just a month. And that's quite staggering. How true it is, I don't know, but they said they're thrilled to announce that Zorin OS 18 has uh, amassed 1 million downloads in just over a month since its release. And that's because there's been a lot of people reviewing that operating system. But that being said, they're also uh, claiming that a lot of these have come from Windows. It says what's even more encouraging that it's over 78% of these downloads have come from Windows. Now, how true all of this stuff is, I really don't know. It's a staggering number if that is true, because when I looked at the stats on StatCounter, and I know it's not 100% accurate, 
but surely you'd see some form of spike in those stats where most of the people that have downloaded this have installed it and are using it on a computer and I just don't simply see that in the stats. But as mentioned before, I've also seen some silly claims that, you know, the governments are now starting to shift towards Linux and ditch Windows and they are transitioning over all their systems to Linux and that's just a complete nonsense. It really is. It's not happening and it's not going to happen anytime soon. There's a lot of this stuff floating about right now. And there's a lot of fake news coming from Linux users. And I know Linux users are not going to like that. But at the end of the day, uh, they're going to attack you regardless whether you like it or not anyway. Especially if your channel is based on Windows operating systems. And I've even seen a lot of Linux channels talking about uh, Windows as well quite a bit and it's because it gets the views more than what Linux does but take a look at the stats right here 3.05 percent and there is just no spike here whatsoever and if I turn off all of this other stuff you'll see basically there is no major spike at all for all of those claims and of course this could be completely wrong and I may be reading this wrong but it looks like it's going down as well and it's just gone up a little bit and this is the way it's always been with linux and i've said this before if there was huge amounts of people using this operating system you would see major changes and major spikes in the stats and it's just not happening now i know the unknown uh, section is what they like to claim is mainly linux and that's just not the case there's a lot of windows systems that are locked down and they won't uh, be disclosing that information it could be banks it could be uh, sensitive governments and things like that that will be using windows based systems and of course they will not disclose that information and it will come under the unknown bracket of course there will be some linux on there as well because that's exactly what it's going to be but again you can't claim it all to be just linux now one of the biggest problems with windows 11 has been the amount of bugs that's been happening with the operating system and this is due to feature updates being pushed out when they haven't been finished and also updates to fix other problems and then that breaks a load of other things now the known issues page has been a bit of a a bit of a laughing stock really because they're making out there isn't a lot of issues and a lot of these have been resolved but basically there's been a lot more problems with Windows 11 25 H2 than they've actually listed because there was the task manager issue uh, which wasn't listed until after they fixed it and there was other things like file explorer freezing which they never listed and that then got fixed and there was also some other issues as well now I've had networking issues where all my network attached storage devices suddenly disappeared all on the network when I'm looking on a Windows 11 system and I know some people haven't had as many problems as some other people on Windows 11. And that's fine because everyone has different hardware and everyone uses their computer differently. And unfortunately, I just want a stable operating system and it's just not happening. And this is why I went back to Windows 10 until they can bring out a Windows 11 edition like Windows 11 23 H2, which was as stable as anything. And I just never updated it right until it reached end of life unfortunately 24h2 and 25h2 are based on the same os and they are literally plagued with problems now i know they are fixing these problems but it seems as soon as they fix them they cause more problems and that's something i can't deal with when i'm trying to work and i just think microsoft are becoming out of touch with their user base because people are complaining about ai copilot and all of the integration into the operating system and it's getting worse and they believe that that's what their consumers want they want more ai and it's just not the case they've done a survey and proven that people don't want ai on their operating system so they need to stop doing it otherwise they're going to end up with a major problem on october 16th 2026 when probably 40 odd percent of people are still going to be on windows 10 and that's going to be a major security risk for everyone now microsoft despite releasing the lower than normal number of security updates uh, during the last few months microsoft patched a whopping 1129 vulnerabilities in 2025 that is 11.9 percent increase from 2024 and this is the second time 
that Microsoft have patched over a thousand vulnerabilities. Now, these are the fixes or improvements, as they like to call them. And of course, how could it be an improvement when it's something that you released that was broken? It was already broken when you released it. Instead of releasing something that works, you've released something that was broken and it was causing issues. File Explorer, known issue. Uh, fix the update, addresses the issue where File Explorer is flashing white and it was causing issues. And there was also freezing and other problems that they've probably fixed, which are, are someone else on my Discord server has actually said it is now fixed. But they never mentioned anything like that. But this is all to do with uh, the patches that they have released for their operating system, that is patching vulnerabilities. So what is the solution for Microsoft? Well, in my opinion, what they've got to do is they've got to stop pushing feature updates on people that people don't want. For instance, AI and going down that route and just freeze it for a little while and get a natural operating system that is stable and bug free and give people a choice of what they want to install and what they want to use on their computer. And if they can get a, a stable version of Windows, then people might start upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. If you're talking over 500 million computers that are still on Windows 10 that are eligible for Windows 11, that tells you something that people just have lost all faith in Windows 11 and have decided to stay on Windows 10. And if they want to get people on Windows 11, they're just going to have to change their stance on some of the things that they've put into place. And hopefully the masses will come and they will start to upgrade to Windows 11. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.